it is currently 4 in the morning and baby is awake so just up helping my wife with that and then we'll get back to bed but it's a good day it's gonna be the first day of classes I've been back at school but just in the clinic it's about 5 a.m. now and baby's hopefully asleep so hopefully we can fall asleep again It is 7.53 and I am out the door headed to school. I have been up for about four hours, so I was not able to fall asleep again. Off to school. I thought that I would do something a little different and shoot a vlog. I have not done a vlog before in my life, so... Bear with me. Yeah, like that. Trying new stuff. New things can happen. This first week, it's kind of weird because I've been in the clinic and not in class yet. And the class that we're starting is Advanced Perio Techniques, which should be interesting. We're going to talk about, uh, I think, gum grafts as well as implants. But it has been over a year since we last took this uh, our intro to periodontics course so she's given us two days to review uh, that course's materials this is the start of my third year of dental school so things to look forward to throughout the upcoming year of school will be studying for boards that's kind of a huge thing and then also i'll be part of a project where we are doing a give kids a smile event so we'll have a bunch of kids come to the school and get some free exams and it'll be really good uh, other than that just more content for you guys and some vlogs because I love watching vlogs. I'm sure you guys love watching vlogs. So why not give everybody what they want? I'll try and take the stairs because I sit all day. So get some steps in, but if I take the stairs up to the fourth floor, I usually regret it. But maybe that's just me being lazy. <sighs> okay, so the plan for this morning is to review some PowerPoints from our introductory class so that I'm ready for this second periodontics class. It is about 10.40, so that took a little longer than the two hours I had planned to study. There were some distractions, wasn't perfectly focused, but pretty happy with the studying that I got done in the amount of time. I made it through about 300 slides, so I'm going to take about a 20 minute break and then I'll get back into studying. I'll only have about an hour before I'll head home for lunch. It's 11.30ish, I made it through all of the slides that I wanted to for this morning, which is great. I'm exactly where I want to be, so I'm going to head home a little early for lunch, and then I'll be back here at school 
for clinic this afternoon. I live reasonably close, so going home for lunch makes sense. And there's a few reasons why I choose to go home for lunch and why I enjoy going home for lunch. First reason I like to eat at home is because I get to see my family. Being in dental school is busy and so I don't get to spend as much time with them as I would like to. So living close enough to go home for lunch is great because I get to spend more time with them, especially on days like today where I didn't even see my girls before leaving for school because they were still asleep. Reason number two that I like to eat at home is because I just eat better food. The stuff that we make at home is tastier than a lot of places that you can eat out and it's better for me, so that's important. Which also brings me to reason number three, I can save money. Eating at home is a lot less expensive than eating out. Just got back from lunch. Now I'm gonna head inside to the clinic. And if you wanna see what's going on there, go check out my Instagram. I'll post my clinic recap after I'm done up there. I just finished up in clinic, finished recording my, gosh, what do I call it? Clinic recap, where I share what I did in the clinic. So if you wanna see those, go check it out on Instagram. And yeah, looking forward to the weekend. Might do a little bit of studying tomorrow. Definitely gonna be done for today. Feeling pretty good where I'm at. Okay, it's Saturday afternoon. It's currently quiet time which means everyone but me is napping. So I can finally do a little bit of studying, hopefully get through the rest of the material from our intro to periodontics class so that then I'll be able to just study and review a couple things on Monday and be ready to go on Tuesday. It is 2.49. And I just finished going through the rest of the material. So pretty happy about that, that I was able to finish. And with that, I'm going to start editing this vlog with the footage that I have up to this point so that I don't get too far behind and can actually post this in a reasonable amount of time. It is 8.19, getting to school a little bit later than I would have liked, but I was in desperate need of a head shave, so I had to take care of that. The plan for today is I'll probably use some of my old study materials, as well as potentially looking at the slides for the next couple days just to try and get ahead and get some exposure to that material. I got through all of the old material that I wanted to today. I didn't take a look at the new material for tomorrow. Didn't quite get there, but that's okay. Still pretty happy with where I'm at. And clinic this afternoon. Just got back from lunch. Gonna head into the clinic and I'll actually include today's clinic recap in the vlog just so you can get a taste of what it actually is and the things that I talk about and that I'm doing. All right, just finished up in the clinic and it was pouring for just a second, but it stopped. Uh, but today I had a comprehensive exam on my schedule, had the patient come in, get him seated, and he had a tooth that was bugging him. So he took a look at that, it was super loose. So I got to do an extraction, which was great. Uh, went really well, it was 
super simple, um, but still fun to do. And then my second patient this afternoon was an SRP. And I'm really, really trying to get better at these just because we do a lot of them, being able to figure out and detect whether or not calculus is in a spot versus not is really important because one, we do lots of these cleanings as dental students and then also one day as an owner, being able to tell if your hygienists are doing a good job. It's also important for that. The hygienist came and checked and she said that it was super tenacious calculus, which means that it's really, really hard and difficult to remove which made me feel way better about how much stuff I saw her getting after I had gone through and cleaned all of it. So overall, a really good afternoon in the clinic. And now I'm headed home to spend some time with my family. since like 4.30. Alrighty, ready for school. Only two days of lecture for this class, so pretty quick class. Our test is next Wednesday. Tomorrow morning, I'll be in the sim clinic. We're gonna be learning how to suture. So that'll be super cool. I'm looking forward to that. And other than that, from now on, it will just be studying and time in clinic. It's Wednesday and I wanted to show you what I have going on the rest of the week using this overhead setup that I figured out. So, hope it works. <sighs> so, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Those are the days left. We'll split it up into morning and afternoon. So, Wednesday morning, class. Afternoon, clinic. Thursday morning, sim clinic. Afternoon, case presentations. And we also have team meetings. Friday, clinic all day. So that's what I have going on as far as what I need to get done. So I have all of the questions for my Kahoot that I'll study from for the first day's lecture already written, but I need to import them, but Kahoot was having problems, so make Module one Kahoot. And then also make module two Kahoot, which is Wednesday's material. Thursday, study from those Kahoots. That's how I study. Friday, same thing, study. Cahoots. So, hopefully I'll be able to get these cahoots made and study a decent amount so that I'm ready for my test, which is a week from Wednesday. It is Thursday morning, so today I'm in the sim clinic. We'll be learning how to suture, so I will bring you along for that. Okay, so just finished up in Sim Clinic and it was super cool. So we practiced some suturing and then we also placed an 
implant in a fake mandible, which was super cool. I didn't know we were doing that and it was just really interesting. So all in all, a great day in Sim Clinic. Gonna head home for lunch and then come back here for team meetings and some uh, case presentations. So Thursdays are a little different because that's what I've got going on in the afternoons rather than time in the clinic. Just finished up with team meetings and presentations, which went pretty well. I mean, not the most exciting thing, but part of the dental school experience here at Roseman. Um, don't have anything else the rest of the day, so I'm gonna go have a daddy-daughter date with my four-year-old. All right, I know I didn't film anything today besides this, but it is late Friday night. Finally got the cahoots made uh, because Kahoot was having problems with their website. Everything kind of got pushed back a day for me, so I'll have a day less studying, but there wasn't too much material for this class, so I should be able to manage pretty well. Um, so, yeah, this is the end of my first week back in class with my third year of dental school. And with that, I'm going to end the vlog here and uh, hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more vlogs, more content, and hopefully some help for you guys getting into dental school.